Some people call it a corkscrew or a low lasso, which is with a palm up grip. But I've been mucking around with a palm down grip. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hold the hoop out to our side with our thumb pointing forwards. I'm going to scoop it as far across behind our head as we can. So coming in front of our face and behind. Once you get to this point, you sort of have to loosen your grip a little bit. Otherwise, this happens. So when you get to here, if you loosen the grip a bit, the hoop will just fall and land on your forearm. Let's do that one more time. Around, relax and let it fall. So my arm is doing this. Yeah? Just here. From here, if I want to stir the pot, similar to this move with the palm up grip, we're going to get to here. I'm going to bend my elbow in. And then I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to pretend that I want to touch my belly button, my hip, and then outside of my body. So I have to lean over to create space for the hoop. I'm going to take my knuckles to my belly button, my hip, and then outside my body. I can bring it back around. One more time on that little stirring the pot business. Bend our elbow in, knuckles to belly button, outer hip, and push out. So we're here. If that doesn't feel so great in your wrist or if it's not really just like part of your flow or if you can't be bothered practicing it right now, whatever, this is a simpler version. So this time exactly, I keep hitting myself on the head, don't do that. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to come straight across in front of our face behind, we're going to let it fall down onto our forearm and instead of doing this stir at the bottom, we're just going to let it fold over and go again. So we can let it fold low, fold, fold, or we can just fold it out at the side. So if the hoop's sitting here, we're just letting it flip over and down and then straight back to the palm down grip so our thumb is leading it back around. The cool thing about this foldy one is that we can actually get through it as well. So in my right arm, I'm taking the hoop across, behind, and then from this position, I'm holding on tight and I'm pointing my thumb at the ground. So you can see the hoop is now sticking out straight in front of my body. I'm going to take my opposite leg, so my left leg, and I'm going to fold the hoop in towards it and step through. I'm going to pull the hoop up a bit as I duck my head through. Really relaxed grip here so that it can just roll down. I'm going to step out and then fold off. One more time. Around to this position. Point our thumb at the ground, the hoop is sticking out straight in front of us. Taking our opposite leg, we're going to fold the hoop in towards it, we're going to step through. Pull the hoop up and duck through and let this grip here be loose so that it can just fall back to here. We step out and then flip off. In fast mode, Let's go over those three one more time just to like land them in our bodies and then you can have a play and see what else you can discover. So with our palm down grip, we're going to scoop around, land on top, bend our elbow in, stir the pot. The aim here is to try and keep the hoop as flat as possible. It's not going to stay totally flat, but we can try, right? Around, push it out. This time, flip it over. This time, thumb to the ground, step through and off and unfold. I hope you got it. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. I promise I'll reply. If you liked it, please share it. You can find me on Facebook at Hoopsparks, or if you want to get more things like this and my other Hoopy ramblings delivered to your inbox, you can sign up for the Sparkle Blast newsletter on my website at hoopsparks.com. And I hope that you get as fascinated with this move as I have and definitely show me stuff as you discover it. Happy Hoopy.